friend uh, welcome to take advice so in this video I'm going to teach you that how can you uh, start your airflow environment in the Google Cloud platform first of all uh, Google Cloud platform uh, you can start your flow using Google Cloud Composer so Cloud Composer is a one of project a uh, product of Google Cloud so that using that one we can start here flow so let's go so first of all we need to go our cloud uh, console section from there we need to choose the project and under that project we can start here flow environment so I'm going to my uh, cloud uh, platform here so from here I need to choose one of my projects so I have different different project you can see I have so many project here so I'm going to choose one project HIG CDM then under that CDM I'm going on to I'm going to create my Airflow so after choice your project then we need to go navigation menu then from there we need to choice composer cloud composer basically you can find uh, this one in the big data section in the bottom position you can see we have a composer then you click on that then it will redirect to uh, environment section so here it is you see here I don't have any environment so uh, basically I need to create a, a new environment so for that I need to create a new environment So here first option is a name option. A name you can give anything. Here I'm giving Airflow CDM. Whatever you want, you can give your as uh, for your, your your choice. So node is three, is fine, okay. And location you can choose any location uh, you want. Don't think that this location is depend on your server. So uh, no any uh, no any problem or no any issue will be there if you choose a different location or if, if example your server is in different location and you choose a different location that it will it will not affect in your project. So I'm going to choose here uh, South Asia South one and uh, zone is Asia South A. Here one thing I want to say with you that this zone A B C D A B C uh, they have a machine configuration. You can choose in the learn learn more section also. And see that uh, what is the uh, machine configuration present there. So here is a uh, choice the machine type is uh, one first one standard one. If you not choose anything here, it will take automatically the standard one also. And here memory size is I choice 100 gigs is fine. The next one is the uh, authentication scope. This one uh, I I need to keep blank. This one is basically for API purpose. So if you want to give, then you can create from I am uh, I am section I am an admin. And from there you can create also I'll show you so you need to go to your console I am section you need to open console then navigation menu then from the navigation menu uh, you can see uh, that I am and another one is API services so here you see I am uh, from here we can get services uh, yeah API API and services here in the API and services we have uh, you see authentication uh, scope so this one you can create for API purposes but I no need to use API purpose so I know need so here now next one is the service account so for service account also same similar process I need to go I am section okay so I am section I need to go navigation first navigation menu and from there I need to go I am section then there we have one service account this service account I need to create first okay so I am you see here yes here is a service account I need to click service account then here I need to create a new service account for my airflow so basically service account is a key of a lock so 
I need to create a key. So this one specifically for my Airflow purpose. So I am creating a new service account uh, which name is uh, Airflow CDM. Okay. So Airflow CDM is here. Then to create a service account. Name also description also I give same name. And rule you need to assign as a project editor or owner. I, I recommend that editor or owner is fine. I, I use uh, owner. So can uh, no error will they come when you write a script or when you upload uh, a script into drag then it will uh, automatically detect your uh, uh, permission then it will helpful. So here my my service account done already. You can edit also whatever you want if you want to edit. You, you can see here my airflow uh, service account done. Now I need to go to uh, environment section. You see here, when I go to uh, IAM section, then it, it is showing that it's an owner. Okay, it's an owner. You can change as an editor also if you want to uh, edit this one as an editor. So let's move on to fill up the environment. So now here you see it's not showing. I need to just refresh because I just created. So I need to refresh the, uh, the tab. So after refresh, then again I need to fill up the form. The same 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 thing because I just refresh, so it will automatically remove. Er flow CDM. Then node 3 location is out is out okay then is here machine type machine type is one okay then 100 gigs then this one only service account now you see it's appear here so you click on that the same thing you see I have created this one the same thing appear here the same same one you see so I click on that. Tags one is basically for accounting purpose. So if you want to give, then you can give, no problem. Now I need to choose a version. Version is the latest version I, I'm choosing. Then uh, Python skip the uh, three, three, three version. Okay. Then just create. This one no need to fill up. Okay. Just create. So now it will automatically create the DAG also as well as cloud environment and uh, it will automatically create your Airflow platform also Airflow console also so here here it will take some time for uh, loading or creating the environment because it it will it will use Kubernetes it will use cloud storage it will use uh, uh, your uh, all other plat cloud cloud product which one needed for environment so it will take some time so wait for that and automatically you can see that uh, your environment created so here you see your DAG folder none level none is showing but after after when create done create done that time it will automatically show us that uh, it is running now let's see refresh just one time I hope it is done okay till now it's running I think it will take some time now it's run already it's done already you see my airflow done already when I click on that I can see my configuration which one I, I created okay and which which one I chosen that one is, is it also showing us now you see here monitoring is uh, showing the blank all because I don't have any DAG uh, uh, file so now you can see the uh, configuration here all the configuration which one uh, I have made so here if you want to use a variable you can just edit and add your variables levels if you want to use any levels then you can use here levels 
and python package if you want to use any python package which one is actually you needed that one you can use here and you can install there so now you see here dag folder created dag folder is basically the bucket so this bucket also created in your cloud section so when i click that one you see it will redirect to cloud uh, storage uh, option then i can see that uh, uh, cloud storage also created a uh, bucket you see bucket created and here is a one script airflow monitor it will automatically create and you can upload your file just uploading your uh, upload upload click on the upload section and another option is you see when i click airflow option then it will automatically redirect to me uh, cl air cloud airflow function airflow platform you can see here you see this is the airflow i just created so yeah here you see airflow monitor python script this one is showing here in the cloud console console airflow also because this is the default function default function created by google okay for monitoring purpose so so you see when i click the code section i can see the code behind this uh, this was this uh tag I can see the graph view then DAG I need to click DAG then you see I can see the status of that uh, file so here is the all things for running checks running tasks also and you can turn on and turn off from here your script so that's all frame for creating an, an environment in the cloud platform okay so friends if you like my video then just subscribe my video and next time i'm, I'm going to teach you that how can you uh, create a python script uh, in the cloud airflow for uh, airflow platform using bigquery or data also so thank you friends